Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Our Wednesday opener in 25 minutes at 5.55. Tapita fast. Windy, chilly evening. A couple of smallish carryovers. A little more than $1,500 for the 20-cent single six jackpot in the fourth. A little more than $1,400 for the super high five carryover in the nightcap. Nine races are scheduled. Let's get right to the changes. In the opener, four and six, both scratch Saturn boy and ride it on the ice. Four and six out of our Wednesday night opener. As always, the opener will start the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Pretty good start after all of that. Rate confirmation now drops to the back marker. Eternal Bliss from the top shelf. Indigo Rich, Phillipsburg. They show pace. And here's Strike Price joining the fray from the inside. Judo's in a nice spot through the early stages. He's isolated and fit. Six from the four leaders. Now joined by Ray Confirmation at the tail of the field is Kick Rock's Kid. So it's Phillipsburg with a narrow lead from Indigo Rich. Eternal Bliss supplies pressure from the outside. Strike Price retreats just a little bit from the rail. Judo races with rate confirmation. They close in together. Now three and a half off the lead heading into the far turn run. And Kick Rock's Kid has six lengths to make up on the leaders. Phillipsburg now confronted by Eternal Bliss. Here's Judo with his charge into third. Rate confirmation takes over the fourth spot. Indigo Rich now back to the fifth position. And towards the tail, Kick Rock's Kid with strike price. So the top two in the wagering are disputing the top spot at the quarter pole. Phillipsburg inside of Eternal Bliss. Judo has flattened out. Rate confirmation tips to the center of the racetrack, and he's coming with his run. Eternal Bliss and Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg, the leader. Eternal Bliss is second. And here is Rate Confirmation gradually sweeping up on the leaders and also trying to close in Kick Rock's Kid. Boy, a stagger fest to the wire. And who's it going to be? A three-way finish. Rate Confirmation. Kick Rock's Kid. Also there, Phillipsburg. Eternal Bliss is in a photo for fourth with Indigo Rich. Day opener was ripe for the taking. It looks like rate confirmation with the slow-mo. They were really coming home very slowly. Look at the final running time. Rather slow, 121 and 43, 100. It's one of the slower six and a half furlong affairs I've seen this season. Phillipsburg tried to last, putting away Turtle Bliss. But it's Rate Confirmation and Kick Rock's Kid, the two closers who run 1-2-3. Rate Confirmation at 4-1, to one, the unofficial winner. Rate Confirmation is in the winner's circle, a four-year-old bag gelding by Connect out of the Bernardini Mare Echo Dust. On by Larry Henry, winning trainer Martin Rook, winning jockey Abel Lescano. The winner was Brett in Kentucky by J.C. Davis Farm Incorporated. Exacta $81.82, Trifecta $90.72, 10 cent Superfecta $38.06, Dollar Superfecta $380.68. Second race, 2 9 and 11 all scratched, Cut a Day, American Raider, and Norbert, 2 9 and 11 all out of race two. The 13 draws in off the also eligible list. A jockey change at number eight, Young Dumb and Broke, new jockey, Sonny Leone, and the weight is good. Second race commencing the early pick four, 23 minutes away at 625. And there they go, slow start, shockwave. A sprinter on the stretch out with addition of blinkers. He's at the back marker. So it's royally bitter making the pace from Young Dumb and Broke. Red Cheeks is up close, and so too is Moon Charger from the extreme outside. Then Solomon Vandy, Jared the Warrior, Egyptian King. Lead actor third last. That is a Moon Charger who is second last, so that was pure cane sugar amongst the early leaders and towards the tail of the field after that slow start is Shockwave. So making the pace, Young Dumb and Broke from Royally Bitter and Red Cheeks is third with Solomon Vandy and pure cane sugar from the extreme outside, a break of at least five and a half for six lengths to Jared the Warrior, a length and a half for two in front of Egyptian King. Two and a half, the lead actor, then Moon Charger, and Shockwave is still at that back marker. 24 seconds for Young Dumb and Broke with the lead. Chasing him royally better. Solomon Vandy's worked into a good spot despite that outside post. He's in the two path. He makes a move into second. Pure Cane Sugar, three deep, trying to commence a bit. Pure Cane Sugar and Solomon Vandy after Young Dumb and Broke. Red Cheeks is beginning his bid. The Gray has about four lengths to make up. Egyptian Kings trying to swing into the scene from the outside and following after him is Shockwave. Young Dumb and Broke, Pure Cane Sugar. Here comes Egyptian King, although he wanders out there into no man's land and he carries Shockwave with him. And 
the meantime, Royally Bitter finds an opening along the inside, and he's coming through beautifully. Royally Bitter is at the front, and he has a wall of pursuers, including Egyptian King. Royally Bitter, Egyptian King, despite blowing the turns, trying to come and get Royally Bitter, but Royally Bitter has the lead in deep stretch, and he will win it. That's a shame for Egyptian King. If he just didn't wander into no man's land, he might have been able to get to the winner's circle. I'm going to Red Cheek, Shockwave, and Jared the Warrior. Bombs away to start the early pick. Four, three, Royally Bitter took full advantage of a beautiful opening along the inside. When that was all happening, six, Egyptian King decided to wander and see what was out there in no man's land. Well, it was only going to result in a second place finish after that wandering. So three, Royally Bitter, 141 and 12, 100s, 25 to one, the unofficial winner. In the winner's circle is three, Royally Bitter. She was already on return, this, or he was, this four-year-old Abbey Gelding by Palace Malice out of the strategic Prince Mare, Royal Temptress. Royally Bitter, he was ready on return, owned by Linda Lael, conditioned by Maria Pinzo, and the winning at jockey is Yarmory Correa. Royally Bitter was bred in Kentucky by Robert Lael. First start since late March of 2023. 10 cents Superfecta, $154.27. Dollar Super, $1,542.72. 3 6 Exacta, $145.80. 3 6 1 Trifecta, $202.21. 3 3 Early Double, $66.88. Third race, a double and a mid pick three. Albin Jimenez, new jockey number one, My Grass is Blue. Tonight's third race is in 23 minutes at 6.55. And there they go. Faithful Ruler quickly into stride from the inside. He picks up the pace right there with him. Pure Panic started from the bottom, attends the leaders from the outside. Malta Vivace isolated in fourth and my grass is blue and solidify a late runner as the early trailer. Faithful Ruler and Pure Panic are one, two. Started from the bottom third with Molta Vivace gaining ground on the leaders along the inside. Though where's he going to go? A little bit of traffic to deal with heading into the third. My grass is blues in the fifth position. A little less than five lengths from the leaders. And at the tail of the field is Solidify. So it is Faithful Ruler and Pure Panic. They remain 1-2. They rattled off a good opening quarter of 21 and 4 fifths. Here started from the bottom. Boy, Molto Vivace is just crying out for room. Look at him all dressed up in Sunday's best. Where's he going to go? He's going to try to find an opening along the inside. It looks like it opens up. Can he take advantage? And farther out here, closing in is Solidify, who got that sweet opening quarter to run after. Molto Vivace up the inside. Started from the bottom. Solidify, Molto Vivace. Molto Vivace has come away with the lead. Solidify is rolling to the outside. Here comes Solidify in the center of the racetrack to tackle Molto Vivace, so it is Solidify, who benefits from that opening quarter. Molto Vivace had his momentum stalled, might have cost him. I'm going to pure panic and started from the bottom. You saw the 21 and 4 fifths, and you knew somebody was going to come a-rolling, and it was for a Solidify. He closed in the center of the racetrack. A 5, Molto Vivace was really eager to go get those leaders. Through the far turn run, had to abide his time and wait for an opening along the inside. Might have cost him the victory. Second place, three, pure panic. Fourth place, six, started from the bottom. Tenth career victory, solidify an eight-year-old of gelding by Tapazar. Out of the Cherokee run mare, Elaborate. Owned and trained by Juan Munoz, Cano winning jockey, Axel Concepcio. The winner was bred in Kentucky by China Horse Club International Limited. Four five exact to thirty seven dollars sixty eight cents. Four five three trifecta twenty four dollars seventy cents. Three four daily double one hundred forty five dollars fifteen cents. Ten cent super seven dollars sixty five cents. Dollar superfecta seventy six dollars fifty two cents. Three three four early pick three three hundred thirty one dollars twenty nine cents. Fourth race will start our twenty cent single six a jackpot that carryover better than one thousand five hundred sixty nine dollars in the fourth race. Scratch seven a ghost storm and girl. One Bodie's Rose corrected weight, 115 pounds. Three Luna Love now two pounds over the weight. Six Yoga Queen, one pound over. Nine My Tommy Lee now one pound over. Ready for action. And there they go. A proto magic towards the tail of the field. Maybe Lucky and Wild quickly into stride with a Luna Love. Also their Yoga Queen and just a simple girl. Four of them are gunning. 
Maybe Lucky and Wild has a narrow advantage. Bodie's Rose is in a nice spot. She's in the fifth position, three lengths off the lead. Here's Proto Magic to her outside. My Tommy Lee towards the tail of the field with Ida Storm. So it's maybe Lucky and Wild on the lead right there with her Yoga Queen. Just a simple girls forwardly positioned in the clear, making a move into third. Luna Love has the fourth spot. Bodie's Rose in the two path. Proto Magic's in the clear, and she's beginning her move. Here comes Proto Magic, getting within three lengths as they race to the 5 16th. The last two remain my Tommy Lee and Ida Storm. Just a simple girl gearing up three deep. Here comes Proto Magic with her four wide charge. Yoga Queen has some fight. She's still sticking. Maybe Lucky and Wild. Then Luna Love, Bodie's Rose following after Proto Magic. Just a simple girl, Proto Magic, Yoga Queen, maybe Lucky and Wild, Proto Magic, and Just a Simple Girl. Proto Magic has come away with the lead past the eighth pole. Just a Simple Girl fights with her, maybe Lucky and Wild from the inside. Proto Magic is going the best. Here's Proto Magic, a win machine in the starter allowance condition. First four-time winner this season. In the second spot there, Just a Simple Girl, then Luna Love and Bodie's Rose. Proto Magic feasting on this starter allowance condition. Three victories in 2024. Another victory in this condition in 2023. A four-time winner here at Turfway Park. Rattling off four in aerobic. Favorite at three to five. 112 and 88 100s. Good effort from the eight. Just a simple girl. Photo third and fourth. Kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. Proto Magic feasting in this starter allowance condition. Give her four in a row or eighth overall. Getting closer and closer to $200,000 in earnings. A five-year-old dark bear brown mare by Protonico. Out of the Mizzen Mask mare Batuma. All by Robert King. Back-to-back -back -back for Juan Munoz, Cano, and Axel Concepcion. The winner was bred in Kentucky by International Equities Holding Incorporated. 344 pick three, $102.09. 4.8 exact at $10.90. 4.83 trifecta, $51.84. A 4.4 Cano Concepcion double, $6.45. Fifth race will start our late pick five. Scratch both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. Seven carousing, corrected weight, 115 pounds. 10 beyond lucky, one pound over the weight. Our fifth race features 12 three year old fillies made in special weights. I added it up correctly. I believe nine of them are debuting this evening. The fifth race, 24 minutes away at 7.55. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, Bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Carousing part of the pace. Also there, May May Strong and Beyond Lucky. Silk's going to fire to the fourth spot. Ultimate Ready is fifth. She's always Rosie's in the sixth position. And she's a good five lengths off the lead. Where's the Wine is advancing along the rail. Kiss Me Again, Closing Prayer, Sweet Lily Bet splits them. They're about eight or nine lengths off the pace. Following them, a Bon Haven and Thunder Zong is the last of all, and May May Strong is the first of all. May May Strong, the speed from Beyond Lucky Ultimate Ready's on the attack from the outside. Carousing's in the fourth spot. She's always rosy outside of Silk. She's always rosy, and Silk have about four lengths to make up on Ultimate Ready, who's going pretty good at the quarter pole. Ultimate Ready sharp. May May Strong still with a little fight from the inside. Beyond Lucky's all in. She's all rosy, tries to quick it into her outside closing prayer. Silk's in about the two or three path covering carousing. It is May May Strong coming back at Ultimate Ready. May May Strong right back at Ultimate Ready. Ultimate Ready and May May Strong. May May Strong has reclaimed the lead. May May Strong. Ultimate Ready's coming back at her again. Look at this great race. Who's it gonna be? Ultimate Ready or May May Strong in a ding-dong finish. Kiss Me Again was third and Silk checked in fourth. That's a horse race. Ultimate Ready had all the momentum near the quarter pole. May May Strong had every right to backpedal, but you could see she had a lot of tenacity to her. She came right back at her, might have even reclaimed the lead. Then it's Ultimate Ready. 
showing a tremendous will to win. Coming back at her. What a great horse race. 111 and 96 100s. Ultimate ready indeed. She was ultimately ready for this initial look. A three year old of Bay Philly by more than ready out of the unbridled song mare. Ultimate reward by Besselou Stables. Paula Lobo, winning trader, winning jockey, the Axeman, Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by her owner. Early pick four, $991.07. 10 cents Superfecta, $1,012.30. Dollar Super, $10,123.06. $12.11 Exacta, $195.86. $12.11.2 Trifecta, $1,271.69. A 4-12 double, $15.39. 4-4-12, a pick three, $35.95. Early pick five, $4,033.53. Four out of five is worth $24.63. Race six, seven rows, darling, two pounds over the weight. Tonight's six starts our late pick four. It's in 23 minutes at 8.25. And there they go. Pretty good start for all. Riviera sent out for the lead, but hustling along, collect the lil and save the bees. And they pick it up together. And Riviera says, go ahead, you two. I'll set a chili trip in third. A chili trip in third for Riviera. So it is collect the lil who is speeding clear from save the bees. Riviera, five lengths from the pace. Two and a half to Stupendous. Another two lengths to Shear. And I'm going to Rose Darling, who races with Yari to Todd. And Katie Got Lucky is the last of all. And they're pretty strung out as they enter the backstretch run. And Collect the Lil was intent on making the lead. And Save the Bees is second. Riviere third. Four lengths from the pace. About a length and a half to sheer inside of Stupendous. Yari to Todd racing with Rose Darling. And Katie Got Lucky is still at that back marker. So really no change here in the pattern. Collect the Lil, two and a half lengths from Save the Bees. Here comes Shear up the inside and Riviere three wide. They close in together. Riviere a much clearer path to the leader line. Shear's going to probably have to tap on the brakes. She's going to try to slip through an opening along the inside. She is just biding her time. Stupendous is all in. They're going to Yari to Tot. Katie got lucky. And Rose Darling, Collect the Lil has the lead. Now room is there for Shear along the inside, and she's the one to recognize near the quarter pole. Here comes Shear after Collect the Lil. Riviere's under a drive from the outside. She comes under left-handed pressure. Seems like Shear is going better. Maybe Collect the Lil is still going better. Collect the Lil, the one to come and get. Shear is in the second spot. Collect the Lil still with something left. Shear is two lengths behind, approaching the 16. Collect the Lil was sent aggressively to the lead from the very beginning. Shear's going to try to come and tag her late. Collect Collect a little and sheer. Collect a little and sheer. And it's collect a little and sheer in a photo. Share outside of Collect a Lil. Another thrilling finish. Riviere third. Yari to Ta checked in fourth for the Superfecta. Another good horse race back to back. A ding dong finishes. Both of these two deserve to get their photo taken. Share very relentless in her pursuit to come and tag Collect a Lil on the line. It got very tight. Sure is five to two. Collect the Lil nine to one. Collect the Lil did all that heavy lifting. But it's for Sheer, who has been posted first at five to two. Heartbreaking defeat for the backers of one. Collect the Lil. Third place three. Riviere. Fourth place five. Yari to dot. Four one three five. One forty and fifty eight one hundreds. The final time. Number four. Sheer is in the winner's circle. A four year old of Bay Philly by the factor out of the Adina former mayor Diani. Owned by Stonecrest Farm. Winning trainer is Brendan Walsh. Three on the evening for Axel Concepcion. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Dr. William Reed. Ten cents super effect at $97.44. Dollar super, $974.41. Four twelve four pick three, $25.25. $25, Have to get back to that one, fans. 4-1 exact to $80.10. 4-1-3 trifecta, $64.70. 12-4, a double, $49.39. All right, let's see if I can do it now. $25.20 for the 4-12-4 pick three. Sometimes it's easier than others. Seventh race begins our late pick three, scratching both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. The five Cupid's Claws, corrected weight, 120 pounds. Big field of 12 going this classic distance of the mile and quarter journey. 23 minutes away at 8.55. They're all in there. And there they go.
Bluegrass Parkway towards the tail of the field and guided to an inner path. Presider, El Ayjado, they are 1-2. Global Sensation third, then exemplified. Here's Mutakatif, forwardly positioned from the outside. And Mutakatif joins Presider for the top spot. And right there with them, Global Sensation. El Ayjado from the inside, exemplified in the fifth position. He's only three lengths from the front under the wire for the first time. Junior's Gift is a good five and a half for six off the pace. Cupid's Claws from the inside. Our Dream Ride follows him. Miracle on Ice covers him. The last three are Market Malice, Mr. Yeti, and towards the tail of the field, there is Bluegrass Parkway. So it is Presider, and he is in no hurry, leads by a length to Mutakatif. Global Sensation third, exemplified three deep in the clear, El Ayjado from the rail. He's about two and a half for three lengths from the front. Another length and half to Cupid's Claws with Junior's Gift. Miracle on Ice runs with them three deep. Our Dream Ride with the Brown Silks. He's about six and a half lengths off the lead. From the inside, he wants to go. He's sitting a little chilly along the inside. Break of nearly four lengths to Market Malice with Bluegrass Parkway now beginning his bid. Mr. Yeti is at the back. Still presider with the lead. Mutakatif continues to chase the jock. Global Sensation inches a little closer from third. Cupid's Claws from between runners. Exemplified's been covering a lot of ground. Here's Miracle on Ice beginning his move. Likewise for Exemplified. Exemplified's trying to close in. El Ayjado from the rail is five or six lengths from the pace. Bluegrass Parkway's under a vigorous drive. Our Dream Ride has worked away from the inside. He really doesn't have anywhere to go. He's still about seven lengths from the front. Mutakatif right alongside of Prusider. Mutakatif and Prusider. Exemplified chases them from third. And farther out is Miracle on Ice. Mutakatif has come away with the lead. It's Mutakatif, Prusider. Exemplified's giving a good chase with Miracle on Ice. Mutakatif a huge number at 41 to 1. Mutakatif from Miracle on Ice. Third, fourth, and fifth involves exemplified presider and our dream ride. That deserves a holy Toledo number 11 Mutakatif at 41 to 1. Two minutes, six, and 98 one hundredths the final time. Nice stocking trip from Mutakatif. He stayed close to Presider throughout, came away with the lead, and got to the wire in front of his rivals. There's 12 Miracle on Ice. The late lunge into second. Presider looks like he gets the photo for third right there with him, exemplified in our dream ride. Bombs away here in the seventh. 41 to 1, number 11, Mutakatif, the unofficial winner. Mutakatif is in the winner's circle. The nine-year-old registers his fourth career score at Bay Horse by acclamation out of the Woodman Mare Gorband. Owned by Judy Connolly and Paul Brown Jr. Paul is the winning trader, winning jockey Jane Elliott. The winner was bred in Ireland by T. Molan. Then send Superfect to $2,300, $28.26. Super, $23,282.60. 11.12 exact of $518.82. 11.12 one trifecta, $1246.96. Four eleven daily double, $217.20. 12411 pick three, $1200, $12.09. Race eight will begin our late daily double. And we have five scratches, two endless, nine Robin Sage, 11 Little Dixie, and both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14, Kitten Calls and Scarletta. Two nine eleven. 13 and 14, all scratch from race eight. Our Wednesday night featured event commencing our late daily double, 21 minutes away at 9.25. And there they go. Candle shows pay. St. Benedict's prepped is there amongst the leaders from the inside. Tatuba also flashing foot. So too is a birdie rose. Miss Quest from the extreme outside. Tatuba making the pace. Birdie Rose on the attack. She wants to pick it up. Candle's going to sit a nice trip third. Miss Quest joins her. St. Benedict's Prep is ideally situated through the early stages. Fifth saving ground. And here's the favor, Curl Girl. Two by two by two by two by one as they enter the back stretch. Curl Girl is in that sixth spot. A little more than three lengths off the lead. She is two lengths in front of Fireside Kitten and racing with her. From her outside there, Fireside Kitten races with Forever After All, and the early trailer is tag team. 
So with the lead to Tuba and Birdie Rose, Miss Quest sets up shop from third. Candle has the fourth spot. And Curl Girls into the fifth position. St. Benedict's Prep is six from the rail. Five lengths off the lead, heading into the third. Flanked by Fireside Kitten. Forever After All runs with them in the clear from the outside. Tag team has trailed throughout. Tatuba with the lead. Birdie Rose has been her pace partner throughout. Here comes Curl Girl with a nice blitz. Curl Girl's closing in. Candle has to sit patiently from the inside. Forever After All is making a menacing move to the extreme outside. Fireside Kitten tries to get involved. St. Benedict's Prep still has some run. Where's she going to go? Now she finds a seam to split and farther out is tag team. Curl Girl tackles to Tuba. Forever After All joins them to the outside. Forever After All to Tuba and Curl Girl a three-way thriller. Curl Girl and Forever After All to Tuba's third, but she's right there with them. Forever After All. Forever After All. Another one for Brendan Walsh. Curl Girl ran big in defeat, so too did to Tuba and checking in fourth was St. Benedict's Prep. I've been treated to some pretty nice horse races this evening, and our eighth race was equally as good as some of we've seen earlier. 12 forever after all with that menacing move through the third. Eight to one in an upset. Big effort from five, Curl Girl. Also a big effort from six, Tatuba. A one, checking in fourth, St. Benedict's Prep. We'll get those numbers for you momentarily. 138 and 73 one hundred. Forever after all. Good return trip to the races. Five-year-old Dark Bear Brown Mare by Connect out of the Giants Causeway Mare, Julia Tuttle by Dixie Anna Farms, LLC. A training double, Brendan Walsh, winning jockey Adam Biskitza. Winner was bred in Kentucky by owners, Dixie Anna Farms, LLC. Is that 10 cents Superfecta, $214.69. Dollar Super, $2,146.90. 12.5 exact to $74.34. 12.56 trifecta, $246.76. A big double, 11.12, $542.14. A big pick three for 11.12, $978.70. Wednesday's nightcap with a full field of 12. Six and 12 both scratch. Thalberg and Christmas present. Both of the also eligibles draw in. Quite a few overweights, one rocket docket, one pound over, three this all defend, three pounds over the weight, seven keen on you, one pound over the weight, nine fingers, three pounds over. Super high five carryover, $1,428, our Wednesday nightcap in 22 minutes at 9.55. And there they go. Stretch runner is forwardly positioned. Here's fingers picking it up. Mailbox money from the far outside. Rocket Docket put into play with Senior Joe Beam. And also there is ready to roll. So with the lead, it's fingers. Ready to rolls into the second spot. Rocket Docket comes away in third. Stretch runners forwardly positioned. Senior Joe Beam's the gray. The 10-year-old is only two and a half lengths off the lead. A length and a half back to Mailbox Money, a little more than four lengths from the front. Two clear of Raff. Racing with him, clearing waivers. And after them from the Inside there is This I'll Defend. From the outside is Agador Spartacus. Keen on you is second last, and Marvin's Express is the last of all, and ready to roll, ready to tackle fingers, ready to roll right alongside of fingers. And Stretch Runners launching his charge. Senior Joe Beams under a drive. He's fourth. Clearing waivers with a circling move into contention from the far outside. I'm going to rock it, dock it, and raft. This I'll defend is progressing up the inside. Just needs somewhere to go. Tight spot for him. In the meantime, ready to roll. Has scampered clear. This I'll defend now has room from the rail. And also there with him, Senior Joe Beam. Farther out, clearing waivers. Ready to roll. Chasing him home. Rock it, dock it. It is ready to roll in the night cap another one for the Axeman ready to roll maybe rocket docket for second with him senior Joe Beam and clearing waivers and then we will need another photo involving Marvin's Express and this will defend ready to roll living up to his name in the Wednesday nightcap the Axeman our leading jockey with another victory on the card a double for the Axeman Ready to roll at 9 to 2. He is the unofficial winner. It got very tight for the balance. Need a photo for second, third, and fourth. Need a photo for that fifth leg of the Super High Five. 119 and 19 one hundredths. The final time from the Wednesday Night Kia. Ready to roll is in the winner's circle. A seven year old of egg yelling by City Zip out of the Eskindrea Mare. One for London. One by Laura. 
Amaraz Garcia. Thomas Van Berg is the winning uh, trainer. A double for our leading jockey, the Axemen, Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Frederick V. Caldwell. Frederica V. Caldwell along with Mitchell Skolnick. All right, the nightcap is official. We've got the prices. Late pick four is a good one, $7,950, 63 cents, a little shy of $8,000. Late pick three, thirteen hundred forty-three dollars eighty-two cents. Late pick five's huge, twenty-eight thousand two hundred eighty-two dollars ninety-one cents. Four out of five, two hundred twenty-six dollars and some spare change. Four one exact in the nightcap, one hundred ninety-four dollars twelve cents. Four one five trifecta, two hundred seventeen dollars seventy-six cents. Twelve four late double, fifty-nine dollars fifty-seven cents. 10 cent super, $119.39. Dollar super, $1,193.92. $22,000 plus for the 20 cent single six carryover. Late pick three, $1,343.82. $28,282.91 for the pick five, $226.62 for four out of five. Super high five carryover, $4,342.67. Nearly $23,000 for the 20 cent single six jackpot carryover into the Thursday card. Better than $4,300 for a super high five carryover. Nine races tomorrow evening, commencing at 555. That's a wrap on the Wednesday card. Sure hope you enjoyed your night here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. 555 tomorrow for the Thursday opener. With leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.